Welcome back to the Library Roadshow. And now we're checking in with Dr. Charles Elliott, popular professor of Louisiana history. Dr. Elliott, the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities is co-sponsoring a reading and discussion series just in time for the Louisiana Bicentennial. The name of the series is Louisiana Purchase, Impact and Legacy. Tell us about this new series. To celebrate the Louisiana uh, Bicentennial of Statehood, uh, the library is hosting a uh, uh, Louisiana Endowment of Humanities program uh, on the Louisiana Purchase, its, its impact and, and legacy. Uh, it's a six-week evening program of, of reading and discussion uh, and, uh, uh, and sharing of opinions and attitudes about, about the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, the Louisiana Purchase uh, uh, reveals so much about Louisiana history that uh, a careful examination, uh, an exchange of opinion of, of how you perceive it, really makes the, the history just really, really buzz really, really hard. Okay, how does a series like this work, and what are the books? How the program works is that this is both a reading and uh, a discussion program. That, uh, you get to have these wonderful uh, uh, books discussed by a... Uh, uh, a, a, um, an audience of, uh, of interested and adult readers who, who essentially know their Louisiana history, even if they don't uh, think they, knew, uh, they do so. Everybody uh, knows something about uh, the Louisiana Purchase, but the, the point of the program is to, to read deeper and, and think deeper into the program and, uh, and have a great discussion with everybody sharing their take, their view, their opinion of, uh, of what the, the essence of the Louisiana Purchase was and, and how it, how it all, came, all, all, all came about. Dr. Elliott, we often call the public library a university without walls. What do you like most about stepping out of the classroom and into the public library? The nice thing about this being, I guess you could, I guess you could say, a university without walls, is that in the usual university setting, uh, uh, professors sort of stand at the, at the head of the uh, class or the other side of the, uh, of the desk. Uh, they wear the tie. Uh, they give the grades. And, and students are sometimes uh, really, maybe too readily accepting of everything that we say. But the, the nice thing about a, a, a relic class, this uh, Louisiana endowment class in, in, in the libraries, is that, uh, is that you're talking with adults, uh, your peers, or the interested public, and they've got their own opinions. And it's it's a great give and take. I mean, there's, there's no final say, no final word. There's all these opinions and attitudes and interpretations, and it's sort of a great mix and match to do. It's just a, it makes Louisiana history just, gosh, just really dishy, to tell you the truth. Thanks so much, Dr. Elliott. We're looking forward to hearing more from you at our Spring Reading and Discussion Series. Don't forget, you can use the online catalog from home to search for books about Louisiana, or visit your local library to pick up copies of the books in the series or any other subject that interests you. All you need is your library card. Hello out there in TV land. Today we have a fun and easy craft that will get you ready for spring. A bottle cap caterpillar. Let's wriggle to it. All right, you will need four bottle caps, green construction paper, scissors, white glue, crayons, pipe cleaners, and googly eyes. First, we'll cut a leaf shape out of the construction paper. Next, we'll color the bottle caps any colors you want. I like blue. After you finish coloring, pour a puddle of glue on a scrap piece of paper and dip each of your caps onto the glue puddle. After they're coated in the glue, Stick the caps into a leaf in a line. Then you can add your googly eyes and a smile to the first bottle cap. Cut two small pieces of pipe cleaner to use as the antennas and glue them above the first cap. Use a crayon to draw the remaining legs on the remaining caps. Ta-da! Your very own Very Hungry Caterpillar. And this craft ends happily ever after. The Library Roadshow will be back in a moment. Coming up after the break, a spotlight of just a few of our upcoming events on the Library Community Calendar. This includes your special invitation to the Blues Festival, which is co-sponsored by the patrons of the Public Library Friends Group. And remember, they're all free, just for you.